Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is an all day clean with me or until at least I picked up the kids from school at three o'clock. I was super busy. I just needed to get on top of chores and just tackle things like the floors um, with mopping and hoovering as well as just changing bed sheets. I mainly focus on the bedrooms and you'll see <laughs> unloading and reloading the dishwasher a few times in a day. So that's pretty much what I'm starting off with. It's early morning, about seven-ish. I'm just putting obviously things away, all our different cups and knives and yeah, and then I just go on to reload it because it was too full last night um, after dinner. So that is what I'm doing. Um, and usually, actually, my first chore always in the mornings. I also do a little breakfast food prep. Um, I will have a what I eat in a day after this video, so definitely stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, but yeah, I like to get a lot done in the mornings, even on mornings where we have obviously the school run. Um, I just find if I get on top of things, it feels less stressful for, throughout the day. I'm not one to just kind of get up and sit down. Um, so here, as you can see, I am stripping Alistair's bed and then occasionally, like I'm in there right now, I will just pull out his school clothes ready for the day. Also, it gives me an idea what, you know, I'm looking out the window, I can see uh, what the weather's like to put shorts out, or trousers out, the weather's been so hit and miss. Um, again, I'm stripping Violet's bed and I pull out her school uniform for the day. So those sheets are going straight into the wash, that's my first load for the day. I'm using Persil Non-Bio, I tend to use that um, on all of our washing actually, it's really nice and fresh. Um, and then I go on to strip our bed because that's also going to be the second load and it will probably be done by the time I get home um, after the school run. Um, so that is what I'm doing here. And then I pretty much just pick out a casual, very cash, um, cleaning outfit for the day. So one thing that I tend to do before I leave for the school run is bleach the toilets and open windows, always. And then I pop on a uh, little candle melt. I'm using the Christmas ones from Darcy still at the moment. Okay, so first off, I am in Alistair's room. I'm tackling this desk area. The desk is actually from Matalan online. We've had it for a few years. I love it because it's very, very narrow. Um, so if you've got a small space, I would highly recommend it. And if I can find it online, I will link it. But yeah, I tackle this area, just dusting every little thing that he has on his shelf. Um, there are a lot of little bits, but I, obviously they're his little little trinkets, so I, I always try and put them back as he left them. So that is what I'm doing here, and then I go on, because I want to hoover today, I take all the Lego off the rug. Um, if you're wondering where his Lego is, that IKEA storage is full and absolute bursting of Lego, um, as you can see there. Um, the storage unit, like I mentioned, is from Ikea. I would highly recommend it. You can go long ways or the way it is now. Um, super handy for all types of storage, not just Lego, obviously. So yeah, I pretty much just pack away the Lego figures. He's got a few little baskets that he likes to keep on top, uh, just to keep out the little men and figurines and all sorts. Um, and then I just go on, pull everything off and give everything a good wipe over. Over to the bedside table. This actually used to be in our room, but I kind of changed it and gave it to him because he needed a new one, um, and we barely, I barely used it. So yeah, I again just dust everything over, give everything a good uh, tidy. There's, he had a lot of rubbish and a lot of little things. Shake off the rugs, and then I go straight into Violet's room again. Just pretty much do the same. Since we redone her room in January, decluttered basically. 
It has made a massive difference to cleaning. I found that I spend less time in here. It's easy for her to clean up. And um, yeah, it just gets less dusty really. So then I move on to the lounge area. These little side nest tables get filth and I just give them a good wipe over. The kids use these a lot. So finishing off the last bit of dusting in the lounge and then I go back into the kitchen, reload a few bits that I've been food prepping. I had a smoothie uh, late morning and um, I've just been putting on some lunch. So yeah, I'm using the Fairy dishwasher tablets. I absolutely cannot rave about these enough. Like they are so good, um, especially at cleaning and shining things up. Um, I think those ones that I showed you actually are the newer version as well. Uh, then, then I pretty much just spray down my sink with some flash bleach, absolutely love it, um, it really whitens my sink, you can really dull and scratch up quite quickly having a ceramic sink. Um, and then I just wipe over some of the mess that I made from lunchtime. The kitchen itself actually isn't too bad. Um, I pull out my Hetty, annoyingly I have run out of the 1001 uh, foam spray which I absolutely love but I need to get another bottle of it. I think I had the orchid scent. Um, yeah my old school Hetty I've had for I want to say about eight to ten years. I absolutely love her. She comes from everywhere with me and I just find she's so powerful and with dog hair and stuff like that I find it just picks up absolutely everything. So, so as you saw I did shake off my sheepskin rug. I like to air it out while I hoover the house. I took out the uh, front door mat as well and just, yeah, pretty much just blitz the house with the hoover. Um, it has the kind of flip where you can change it to hard floor so it doesn't scratch. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. I also go over Alistair's rug. This rug is actually from Dunelm. It did start out really, really soft and fluffy and has got a little bit hard over the years or a little bit more rough. Um, again, do Violet's room and her rug, if you're wondering, the pink one is from B&M and it's absolutely lovely rug. It's not hard backed, it does kind of move so if it's on a, if, I think if it was on a hard floor I think it would shuffle a bit but um, yeah it's super soft and fluffy and we love it and it was only £15. Uh, bed sheets, our bed sheets are done so I ended up just popping those on so I didn't have to think about it, you know, nothing worse than you know, feeling tired and having to make your bed before you get in it. So that's what I did here. Um, our sheets are from Dunelm. I think they're called the Fogarty um, sheets, but they are super soft. Um, and I think it was like £27 for a, for a king size set. Really affordable. And I always put our um, sort of beige pillows, the ones that we actually sleep on at the bottom, and then the white ones are pretty much just for show. <laughs> Okay, last chore of the day. I felt pretty exhausted, I'm not gonna lie. I am currently just over 22 weeks in this video. Um, yeah, so I use my Vileda sort of spin mop. I can't recommend this mop enough. It's so easy and it brings out the water really nicely. You can also pull off the um, detachable head and just put it in the wash, so it's perfect. That is pretty much my uh, speed clean. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I mop the floors throughout and I do the bathrooms last always. Oh, I love having a fresh clean house. Let me know if this is giving you some cleaning motivation and I will see you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.